Oh, I'm sorry to startle you. No, I was just thinking about you. I have been at Mrs. Finching's this afternoon, and we spoke a great deal about you. She seems to care about you very much. Oh. <laughs> I sometimes come here to think, to see the river and the sky, so much change and motion. Well, you bring the freshness of the world with you. I had a talk today with Mr. Chivery. He wanted to speak with me about his son. Oh, I wish he had not. He made me promise that I would say something to you. I know what the affairs of the heart are like. How we, how we hesitate. Someone I care about very much, but have held back from declaring my love. Not Mrs. Finching? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not Flora. No. Somebody much younger than Flora. But you don't know her. But this isn't about me. All I'm saying is, if you love John Chivery, if you truly do love him, then seize your chance of happiness. Please, stop. I do not love John. I wish I could. It distresses me to see him unhappy, but I can't love him. Not in that way. Not to be his wife. I wish you had not spoken to Mr. Chivery. I wish you had not spoken to me. You will never hear another word from me upon the conversation. I promise you. Thank you. Are we still friends? Yes. Still friends. 